so it's kind of bittersweet, you know, because it's been, you know, great experience and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, like a sort of fruitful experience and, and a rewarding experience and, um, but all good things have to come to an end, so, you know, I'm accepting of that. He's become sort of humanised through the course of the movies, I think. When we first meet him, he's um, quite impenetrable and unrelatable and um, very complicated. And, and, and uh, by the end, by Anna's influence and uh, the love he has for her and she has for him, he's sort of become a fuller, kind of more rounded, sort of happier uh, person. The idea of marriage is that it does change you for the better and uh, makes you less uh, selfish, maybe. <laughs> and um, I think the, all, you, you can apply all of that to, to Christian. And, um, you know, he would never have... There'd be a time when we meet him in the first one that he would have been totally against the idea of marriage. I'm sure he never would have seen himself as a married man and in a sort of what we would see from the outside, like a regular relationship. Um, but all that changes through Anna. I think we can both count ourselves lucky that we both approached it with the same kind of, I don't know, energy and, and, and uh, humour and, um, you know, because that was a big part of getting through it, you know, for a lot of the sort of the tougher scenes to shoot, you know, we could sort of use humour to, to get us through the day and uh, thankfully. Definitely thriller aspects to to the third one and there's uh, characters who shake things up and and, um, and, uh, and add a lot of danger to it and um, everyone's sort of out of their comfort zone a lot more in, in, in the third movie, I'd say. Tears apart.